Hello, good evening, and welcome. My name is Modi Apparatus, and this is Dunge Greed. Uh, this is tough to pronounce, I think, the way that's phrased here, but this is a 2D, a side-scrolling action roguelike game. Uh, imagine something in the vein of Rogue Legacy is how it's best best described. It's, it's, it's just face it, you gotta have similarities like that. But it's been a while since we've had a great game like Rogue Legacy, so I'm perfectly fine with the similarities, especially if the game is cool. Uh, I just saw this come out on Steam, it came out last week, so I thought I'd pick it up and uh, play it for a few episodes with you guys and see what we think. I hear it's very cool. So let's get into a brand new game. I haven't tried this at all yet. Uh, so we're going in totally cold to this and hopefully, uh, well, we'll see what happens, I guess. All right, new, new slot here. And uh, let's get into the game. The town, as peaceful as it always was. <laughs> you got a buff... Uh, Blacksmith hammerer guy there. A mysterious dungeon suddenly appeared. It swallowed anything and everything. Okay. <laughs> it, it certainly as as advertised. Two weeks later. Move A and D. Guessing space for jump, obviously. Left click and right click. Okay, right right click for a uh, right click for a dash. Okay. Oh, it gives a dash right through the side of the side thing there. Uh, so we've returned from our fishing trip. Oh, no, oh god. Okay. No, nope, we're in it. We're in it with them. All right, the jail. Voice from far away. What? Is this the sound of an adventurer sent from the kingdom entering the dungeon to investigate the ruined town? An adventurer. Come this way! Alright, happy to oblige. Uh, cause I just wanna get out of here. Jump, or press W. And long jump with the space. And down jump. Okay, this is pretty standard controls. And we can dash. God! Well... Oh, we dash towards our mouse. Oh, that's kinda of fun. Okay, so we can... We can... We get a couple dashes before we run out of energy. Okay, that's kinda of nice, actually. We can also double jump with it. Oh, I'm okay. All right. It is, uh, it's got aiming controls for the sword, which I, I like a little sometimes here. Um, I could swing in multiple directions. That's kind of fun, actually. F to open a thing. And we got the great sword. Open inventory. Uh, okay, so we press two to, to switch to that, maybe? Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's, a, it's, just, it's just a little more great. That's all. A little slower, it looks like, but probably does more damage. Does it give us any stats on anything? Oh, it sure does. Hey, how about that? 20 damage per second versus 10 to 11 versus 18 to 20. So, uh, slower, but uh, it's, a, it's a big, beautiful sword. You can't you can't go wrong. Okay, so it looks like we can have two pieces of equipment then, and then the shield is the other deal here. And this is a two-handed weapon, it looks like. Yeah, it's two-handed, so we can't uh, carry a shield with it. Cool. I'm digging it. Uh, Close. Okay, got to get used to that. Tab is show map. Okay. Pretty simple. Slow. All right, so far so good. Oh, we can click to, oh, we can scroll up, I see. Oh, that's nice. It, it puts it right down there. Okay, cool. So character status screen. Okay, so it's because our defense. So we get like a little bit of, this is the rogue light aspect, I'm guessing. We level up our character here as we go. Voice nearby, come help! Sure thing, man. Here to help. Yulford, thank you for saving me. Adventurer, who has been sent by the king to investigate the town that is now in ruins? I am the town's carpenter, Yulford. How do I know that you have been sent to us by the kingdom? Well, we all have our ways. <laughs> First, let's go back to town. I, I'm bringing you back out of here, okay? All right, oh, we just teleport. Okay, well, that's a fun power to have. Adventure success. Nine monsters kill, rescued Yulford, succeeded. Wait, just take my items? You just took my items. Well then. Okay. Yulford, phew, what a relief. Uh, me? That's the sound, that's the sound exclamation points make to me. You look confused as to how you got back to town. This necklace I'm wearing is connected to the town altar. 
A special, spe a special spell can bring the user back to the altar. Anyway, the town is now in ruins. What should I do? Hey, adventurer, I have something to ask of you. There were many, there were many aside from me that were swallowed by the dungeon. Could you find them? Once it is possible, I will get ready to rebuild the town. Can you do it? Ah, nope. <laughs> I knew you could help. Thank you. I wish you luck. I don't think he's listening to a thing I'm saying. I'll give you this necklace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Adventure over. I'm not the guy you wanted. By the way, I think this strange dungeon took your weapons. I've got a different way. My grandfather was the best blacksmith in town. Let's see. It should be right around here. I found it. I was wondering where, he'd, where I'd be able to use this, but the time has finally come. Oh, well. Um. This. My grandfather's masterpiece. The short sword. Use it as you will. <laughs> so we'll, we always get a short sword, basically, when we enter. We get nothing else, but we will have an infinite, uh, unlimited short swords. That's for sure. All right, so the dun dungeon was down in there somewhere. This is where he took me. He just, oh, I think it's the red part right here is where it actually grabbed me. It might be warning me of that. It says, beware of the dungeon. Oh, there he goes. Yep, careful where you tread. You lose all items and gold when you are slain. Well, let's not get slain. Let's do what we did before. So we get F and it's fast move. Oh, okay, so we can move between other doors like this. Okay. All right, well, we'll find more of those and uh, get back in and out. Hello, hello, money, 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 and a monocle. Oh, we are fancy now. Music is pretty good, I gotta say. Oh, hello. Whoa, okay. Oh, they certainly have stepped things up around here. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> uh slain by the big bat. Alright. Then lost our well, we lost our monocle. They'll shoot. Um it is like Hey man. I saw you go in the dungeon. Why are you here? <laughs> I know what, what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't think you were you were like that. You think we have time for naps? Um, I mean yeah. You lost consciousness and woke up here? I don't need your excuses. We don't know what might have happened to the townsfolk while you took your nap. Go save the people. All right, man. Lay off, okay? It was hard in there. It was really tough. You have no idea. You have no idea what it's like. You can manually reload. Oh, that's fun. Uh, do I, now do I get, I haven't explored anything here. It's always different. Like I said, Rogue Legacy. Imagine that. Ever-changing dungeon. Got a uh, skull here. Ouch! Okay, we gotta get you first, I think. It'll be easier to fight you first. Be patient here. Get one down. Ow! What? Well, right, dodge right into it. How about how about that? There we go. All right. Okay, go downwards? Sure. What is this? You've been cursed. Max P re HP reduced. Well, we didn't want that max HP anyways. So we had a great hammer. Very slow, but a lot of damage. A uh, 5 to 21. So a very big range of damage there. Holy cow. And it's a 50% stun attack. Okay. We'll see. Oh, -ho! ouch. Yeah, that was a cruel room they sent me into. Like, they, they, sent, they designed that room before just to, like, prove that we can die. We were not supposed to survive then, fairly certain. Hey, maybe we were. Ooh, God. So, did I just break those as I hit them? Let's find out quick here. Nope, I didn't break it. Okay. Oh, God. I missed her, tw like, four times. There we go. That's some cash. So like, can we like leave at any point here? Because 
I mean... I mean, we're at 2 HP. I would like to just take my money and go back out, if I could. Or we'll really progress by saving the townsfolk, maybe. So we can get back to the beginning. Does this help us at all? I can't just leave. All right, let's get back down here then. Looks like we can travel these as we, as we please though, which is nice. Oh God. Oh God, I knew that was gonna come. I was dodging okay there for a minute. Hey, we got levels at least. So that's something. No, it still says we have money though. Does that mean we lost that money or not? Um. No, we didn't lose the money. Okay, so we could actually possibly buy stuff here if there was something, anything to buy. I think we need to save a few more people first. Oh, it's you. Build? Uh, there are no buildings left to build at the moment. Try building more after saving people from the dungeon. Okay. So we need cash to build things then after we save some people. So we gotta get save some more townsfolk. All right, back in it to win it. Let's uh, do better this time. I think we just got to get used to the directional uh, attacking here. An altar. Looks like you can place something on this altar. I, I agree. It does look like that. Ooh, nice little teleport there. Nice and handy. So now we're starting to learn some of the tricks these guys do. So what do we do with these items then? I think we have to try to find somebody to sell them off to probably while we're down here. Because if we can't take anything with us, that's the only thing I can make that makes sense. Okay, let me see this, this is the guy we saw before. Oh, that was, that was handy. We got him before he really couldn't do any damage. So we, know, we have a strategy for him now at least. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Charm of Madness. What does this do for us? Oh, eight power. Oh, is this equipped then? Okay. Oh, nice. So we can equip this stuff. Eight power and max HP percent. Oh, that's fun. Cool. All right. Nice. Uh, let's go up. Oh God. Okay, that was bad. That was a bad one. Oh God. Again, I'm, I'm not. I'm not aiming as well as I'm supposed to here, because I'm just not used to the controls yet here. I used to be able to not have to like worry about directional aiming here. Oh man, they, they ganged up on me. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get this eventually. I think we just gotta. Is this about really finding the controls here? I think it's just getting used to that. There's no way you can play this without keyboard and mouse. I was thinking, oh, this is a controller game? No, no, it's not. It's not at all. You can't. You, you cannot play this game with a controller. I'm pretty sure. You couldn't. You couldn't target which like you need to here. Ooh, okay. Oh, he stuns us. Oh god, we shouldn't have done that. Oh come on. Oh my god. Okay, we should have dropped down here. I'm sure he wouldn't have chased us if we dropped down and took care of these archer guys. So they're not all firing at me like that. So we lost our items. Uh, and we are back with 1,800 gold. We didn't find anybody, though. We have to get further in there, though. We have to find a lot more. Get a lot deeper. And, uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll do it. Hello. Your face, oh, I missed that part. Me, Merchant Croc. So many precious. Come, come, come. Ooh, throwing knives. Hand crossbow, interesting. I'm kind of tempted to try this out. We have enough money for it. A traditional weapon that can be upgraded version of a bow. I think we buy something. I mean, let's buy something to keep ourselves alive long enough to really do something with here. So we have two bolts with this. Hello. Hey, I just said we couldn't find any townsfolk. Heroica. Heroica? Heroica. 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 Hello, traveler. My name is Horerica, with a K, not a C. I'm the owner of the inn. I take responsibility in making sure your dungeon experience is great. I serve food to travelers who come here. I cook food with extraordinary ingredients. Please come often. Food shop. You can pay for food at the inns which are located within the dungeon. You can only eat for one type of food per floor. Stats from flo food vary depending on the floor you're in. Be careful 
not to make maximum s s satiety. Satiety? I guess that's how you say that. Because you wouldn't be able to eat anymore. Satiety levels are reduced by moving to different rooms. Okay, so we can go to get eat. Um, we have 100 right now, so we can eat some food to get some bonuses here. So we could heal back if we need to heal back anything. We don't have enough money for anything here, though. But we can certainly come back here later. Now, it says we can only eat one type of thing per floor. So we could spend a lot of money doing this, though. This is good. This is good. All right, we'll come back here later. Uh, now that we know where she lives, this will be easier. That's handy. We've seen this floor already. We're not we're not within range of this guy here now. There we go. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But I mean the range of it is is handy to stay out of harm's way. We've seen him before too. Well, that was in the spikes. That's actually good for us, I think. Oh God! Okay, that's a good way we can cheese this guy, I guess. Oh, we can get down there though. If we can, if we once we beat him. Ooh, long staff item. Okay. Ouch. Worth it. Worth it. All right, let's open this up here now. We have a long staff with six to eleven damage. Sashim, Sam, Sam Shear, fifteen to sixteen. Uh, two attacks per second. Whoa. Nice. That's fast. Well, let's unequip you and equip you. And yeah, that'll be good. And this is, uh, 11 to 13 versus this. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know how we're going to get this stuff. We probably can't get that stuff. That gold that's sitting down over there, over here. But that is actually excellent. Uh, let's look at our map here, Gwen. Where, where did we come from? We went this way. So we can go this way to this time. All right, we've actually uh, hit un hit the end of the floor here. I think is what that would be. Um, let's keep exploring around though. There we go. That's how we do it. Again, aim, having aiming problems, but other than that, I think we're okay. Oops. Ah, oh, didn't need to take damage there. Didn't need to. What would be better off this try to shoot this guy to this guy? Yeah, better better off doing that way, I think. Flying guys, I think it's better to, to do that. Now we can fast travel back uh, anywhere we haven't seen before. Okay, down here. Let's go to this place. And how much money do we have now? What kind of food would you like? Food shop. Uh, this is worth 15. Where were we at for health? I wish we could see. 67, so 15 would be good, I think. Uh, let's see. So we only need one type of food per floor. This will be 15, 15 heal and uh, 5.95. Okay, let's do it. Eat. All right, so that is good. Thank you. And we should be fully healed. Awesome. All right, so we can get down here now. now I believe there will be items inside of these things, not just money. So we should probably hold off on breaking those just yet. We got something here. What is this trying to... What What do we do with that? What does that mean? Oh, I wonder if it heals us. It looks like a fairy kind of thing, right? 
So probably can't use it yet. Okay, here's the altar. We found this before. I don't know what we can put on there. Oh, hello there. Koblovia. Are you you're an are you an adventurer? When I was trained to be a knight, I have met many adventurers like you. That necklace. Well, that's one way of doing it. I'll see you back in town. Yes! Alright, rescuing the townsfolk. We're not gonna come back this way, so let's just smash the stuff, get the money. Alright. I think we're getting pretty much to the end of the floor here. Well, as I said, we gotta cross with these guys. There we go. That's how we do it. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, we just jumped right into it, didn't we? <laughs> I guess he's below me. It's better off to, to swing. Well, now we're down to what we've started before we ate. Now, the nice thing I like is that they don't do contact damage. Only the thing you have to worry about is uh, them shooting things at us. That's good to know. That makes me a little more bold, I think, when I attack. Ooh, blunderbuss. I say, that could be fun. Goodbye. It's it's four attack per second. Two-handed gun. But obviously better than the, we had before. Oh, 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 yeah. Takes a long time to reload. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be perfect for shooting down everything. Uh, let's take a look at our map here quick. Let's get back over there. Because that looks like a heal, right? We'll find out with this here. Hey, 10 HP. Okay, so that puts us back. And anything in here? A little money. Okay. All right. So where are we at now? Is that all the... Oh, is that everything explored? I think it's the whole floor explored. All right. Do we want to buy anything? Let's go... Uh, let's go as far as we can here. Let's go back this way. Eh, not this way. Uh, let's go back up to the... Uh, the cellar here. Let's see what he has for sale here. That we might want. More precious. Throwing knives. No. Bloodstone ring recovers HP any, every time 10 enemies are killed. Okay, that could be good fun. Uh, I don't have the money for that yet, though. So nothing else we can really afford. I don't think I want to give up our... our uh, can we sell this stuff off? Ooh, we can sell this off. We can't sell this short sword off. We can sell this off. We're not going to use that ever. And we can sell this off. We're not going to use that ever. Except. Okay, cool. All right. But that does not get us in room for this just yet. So uh, we'll, hope, we'll hopefully find another guy like this. Would it be better off to just buy something from her? Uh, is there anything like super cheap for like a few points of health? Move speed, attack speed? Oh, that's fun. Um, evasion? So we could actually do something like that, maybe. It's not going to give us any food. Like eat some bread? Deluxe burger? Tomato soup? What I'm guessing here, though, is that... Uh, I like the 10 plus power. Let's eat it. Uh, what I'm guessing here, though is that we're going to need money to upgrade the stuff around the uh, around the town. So we can't like spend everything on a single run because then it's going to shorten the amount of money we can actually take back home with us. So there's going to be a trade-off, I think, at some point. But we're getting deeper. Floor 2. Beautiful. All right, we're deeper now. Anyway, let's wrap it up here. We'll come back next episode and continue on this run of Dungeon Greed. Let me know what you guys think of this game down below in the comments. I think it's going to be very, very cool. I think we can check this out for several episodes. And I uh, hope you guys like it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, let me know down below in the comments. And I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.